Goku is one of the most popular characters in the history of anime. In fact, he might be one of the most popular characters of all time. Dragon Ball has often tried to spotlight other key characters, but fans love seeing Goku and his continuous evolution. The creators even introduced a few characters with a similar appearance to the beloved Saiyan, but none has been as successfully evil as Goku Black, the duplicate Saiyan from Universe 10. Motivated by his twisted idea of justice, Goku Black wreaked havoc on the universe and mercilessly killed people in his rampage until he was stopped by the Z Fighters. In this video, we'll explore this antagonist from Dragon Ball Super, his motivations, journey, and how he gained the appearance of Goku. So, without wasting any more time, let's dive right into it. Who is Goku Black? Why did he come into existence? We meet this sinister version of Goku in a future timeline, and he's a megalomaniac with a dark aura around him. He's a bully in every sense of the word, and he spreads terror throughout his journey around the universe. Wherever he goes, the evil version of the Saiyan causes death and destruction. Upon his introduction to the anime, we witness him mercilessly killing mortals in an alternate timeline. Initially, he introduced himself as Goku, but he was given the name Goku Black by future Bulma due to the notable color and style differences between Black and Goku's clothes. Future Trunks, sensing that something is wrong, rushes back home only to witness his mother, Future Bulma, being mercilessly killed by the evil Saiyan. Devastated by the sight of his mother's death, Trunks tries to fight, but soon realizes that there's something evil about this enemy and manages to escape. He visits future Mai and with her help, gets inside the time machine, barely escaping death and traveling back to the alternate timeline of the Z Fighters. Contrary to what it looks like, Goku Black is not an evil version of Goku from another universe or alternate timeline. He possesses Goku's body, but not his consciousness. Instead, the mind behind that body is that of Zamasu, the North Kai of Universe 10 with twisted ideals, genocidal ambitions, and a deep hatred for mortals. Originally, he was a divine being of calm personality and mild manners, serving his former master, Gowasu, as the Supreme Kai apprentice. In the manga, he is shown as a patient individual who is sincere in his duties and listens to his master. However, deep within himself, he harbors a hatred for mortals, deeming them as God's greatest mistake. He also develops a hatred for divine beings for committing the blasphemy of creating mortals and allowing them to exist for this long. He wants to amend this mistake by eliminating mortals from existence and, of course, committing mass genocide for this purpose. Soon, Zamasu becomes a slave to his dark desires and mercilessly kills his master. Despite his cruel, aggressive, and certainly unsympathetic actions, even to his own kind, Zamasu feels perfectly vindicated, truly seeing no evil in his actions. He scoured several timelines for proof that mortals are a corruption of existence that prevents it from becoming a true paradise. How did Zamasu become Goku Black? What happened to Goku? Zamasu wants to eradicate humanity without destroying the Earth. When he discovered that a mortal named Goku had developed the power of a divine being, he conceived a plan to fulfill his dream by eradicating mortals and reshaping the cosmos in his own ways, converting it into a beautiful utopia. To acquire the Time Ring for his plan, he killed the Supreme Kai of Universe 10, Gowasu, and took his Potara to become a Supreme Kai so he could wield the Time Ring. After getting rid of Gowasu, he used the Time Ring to go to the future and gathered all the Super Dragon Balls. These Dragon Balls differ from those on Earth, as they're colossal in size and summon an eternal dragon called Super Shenron, who can grant any wish to the summoner. Upon summoning Super Shenron, Zamasu wished to switch bodies with Goku. His wish was fulfilled, and after that, he decided to cut all ties with Goku's past by killing him and his family. In the manga, however, these events happen a bit differently. Zamasu initially swapped bodies with Monika, who was the victor of the Tournament of Destroyers, but upon realizing that he was weak, he swapped bodies with Goku instead. Zamasu feared that the God of Destruction would become a problem in the execution of his plan, and so he began traveling to various parallel realities, searching for the ideal setting where the God of Destruction didn't exist. He eventually found Future Trunks' reality, where Beerus had died. This was because the Supreme Kai, Shin, had died in a battle to defeat Bobbidi and Dabura, and, due to the lifelink, killing future Beerus as well. Does Goku Black have all of Goku's powers? Zamasu was a fighting prodigy before his fusion with Goku. He was easily the strongest Kai to have ever lived, capable of single-handedly moving the planet-sized Super Dragon Balls. Even after stealing Goku's body, which ultimately gave him all of the Saiyan's abilities, he did not initially use them and was able to kill Goku in Zamasu's body. After gaining the Saiyan's might and capabilities, Zamasu's personality also drastically changed, and just like the other Saiyans, he developed a taste for battle. 
He met with his future counterpart from Future Trunks' timeline, and they immediately became partners and killed Future Gowasu. The two then gathered the Super Dragon Balls and first wished for Future Zamasu to become immortal. They then traveled another year into the future to wish for the Super Dragon Balls to destroy themselves and stealthily annihilate all the Supreme Kais. And, by default, the Gods of Destruction as well, leaving their path of destruction completely unchallenged in that reality. Zamasu had a twisted sense of justice and a superiority complex that rivaled that of Hitler and the Nazis. Similarly, Zamasu considered the gods unsuitable to run the cosmos and the mortals undeserving of existence. He traveled all around the universe to different planets, killing and destroying lives under the name of Son Goku. Following his arrival on Earth, Goku Black initiated a devastating rampage, unleashing an attack that resulted in the eradication of half of humanity. This cataclysmic event solidified Zamasu's reputation as a fearsome warrior shrouded in infamy under the moniker of Goku Black. In the aftermath of this onslaught, the survivors banded together, forming resistance cells led by Mai. Trunks emerged as a pivotal figure within the resistance, repeatedly confronting Goku Black in fierce battles, yet consistently falling short of defeating him. How did Goku Black unlock Super Saiyan Rose if future Goku didn't have Divine Key? Akira Toriyama has never disappointed in giving his characters awesome transformations. Remember Gohan's ape transformation during his training with Piccolo, or the scary transformations of Frieza on Planet Namek, or perhaps greatest of all, Goku's initial Super Saiyan transformation that still gives fans goosebumps? Akira Toriyama also created Super Saiyan Rose. However, his choice of color is a bit questionable in this case. Goku Black, or Zamasu unlocks the Super Saiyan Rose transformation during his fight with Goku and Vegeta. This form is identical to that of Super Saiyan Blue, with the only difference being the change of black hair into a lighter pink color and the eyes changing into a light gray. The aura around him becomes stronger and the clothes become darker. Super Saiyan Rose makes Goku Black even stronger and faster than before. It lets him reach his maximum potential as a fighter by combining his Saiyan strength with Zamasu's divine power. This mix of mortal and godly energy gives Goku Black incredible strength and toughness, making him incredibly tough to beat in battle, where he was already pushing the Z Fighters to their limit. The reason behind this incredible transformation, without future Goku having Divine Key, is that this form doesn't use Goku's key at all. Because Goku Black has future Goku's body, his key is still that of Zamasu's. Upon transforming into Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black immediately defeated Vegeta with a surprising piercing blade attack. Is Goku Black stronger than Goku? Could Ultra Instinct Goku defeat him? One of the first warning signs of Goku Black's incredible strength was the fact that he could still effectively use the Zenkai boost to increase his power level after every beating he took at the hands of Goku, Vegeta, or Trunks. When you consider that the body that Zamasu stole from Goku was already immensely powerful, having done battle with Lord Beerus and already having achieved the power of the gods, it's safe to say that Goku Black had a head start over the original Goku. As mentioned earlier, Zamasu was already a skilled fighter before his fusion with Goku. In his base form, Goku Black was strong enough to easily beat Super Saiyan 2 Future Trunks and force him into hiding. Later in the anime, Trunks realizes that Black, in his base form, is at least equal to or stronger than Super Saiyan 3 Goku. He was on par with Super Saiyan 2 Goku during their first fight, as neither of them could gain a clear advantage over the other. Though it looked like Black had taken a lot of blows and suffered substantial damage, Trunks realized that he he had barely been using his strength. Fighting with Goku increased his strength, skill, and hunger for battle. Later, in his base state, he was able to catch Vegeta off guard and shrug off blows from Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta with ease, and even knocking him back. During this entire battle, Black was overwhelmed by Goku and Vegeta respectively, but each time he received a power boost and became stronger, more vicious, and more formidable than ever before. Black's power-ups in the anime were basically attributed to the damage he received, causing him to merge his mind and body together. It allowed him to imprint Goku's abilities on him more readily after taking damage. Goku Black would go on to say that even he didn't know the true extent of his own powers, and that his evolution would undoubtedly continue with every single battle. What's even more impressive is that he was able to create physical copies of himself that were just as powerful as him, but were also impervious to damage from Goku or Vegeta. This was something that had never been seen before from a Saiyan. It was at this moment that Black had officially surpassed Goku and all of his transformations, including Ultra Instinct, in terms of pure strength. In fact, after fighting Zamasu, Goku says he believes that Zamasu could grow to become even stronger than Beerus. Marvelous Verdict 
Introducing a new antagonist in the Dragon Ball saga is always a double-edged sword. Fans either revere it for decades or hate it with all their hearts. Thankfully, Goku Black is part of the former club. His introduction as a fusion of Goku's body with Zamasu's consciousness introduces new possibilities for storytelling and character development within the Dragon Ball canon. His character serves as a reminder of the potential dangers of unchecked ambition and the importance of empathy and understanding in the face of adversity. The entire storyline of Goku Black was of great ambition that was efficiently executed. The masterstroke of this particular saga is setting Goku Black alongside future Trunks and not the Z Fighters from the current timeline. Trunks is one of the most selfless characters in the Dragon Ball universe, representing the values of mortals that Zamasu does not fully understand and appreciate. 